Hi, I just wanna. I bought this Nook the other day and I had an iPad. I got my wife iPad here on the table. I left mine at the at my daughter's house. So I was in Barnes and Nobles one day looking for a book. And I seen the Nook for $149. Mind you, my iPad 3 with the 64 memory in it, I paid almost $790 something dollars for that iPad. This is my wife's iPad 2, which has got only 32 uh, megabytes in it. Now, the Nook, I only paid $149. It was regular $179. They dropped the price to $149 at Barnes & Noble. And I'm like, you know, I don't have my iPad. I got to wait to Thanksgiving before I get my iPad back from Georgia. And I'm way up here in Charlotte. So I say, well, let's play with it and see what's, how good the Nook really is. Now, first off, I'm not never saying that the Nook is better than the iPad. Let's get that out of the way before we start here. But for the price and the money... And if you're gonna buy for a child, I considered my grandkids when I bought the Nook. I'm, I'm like, was gonna program it, put everything on it, and then you know, like, give it to them for Christmas. That that was the plan and reason for buying. And by the end, I'll have mine back. I'll set this one back to the factory specs and, or whatever. But in the meantime, I want to show you. I was very impressed with this Nook. First of all, I, what I done, I went to Big Lots. Big Lot have a 32 bit, bit uh, card which goes in the nook right here. That goes in the nook here. You pull it out. So I put a 32 bit card in it for $24. So for $24, I got the same. I got 64 bits in this. And this has only got 32 bits, and I paid almost $600 for this one. So I got uh, for 100 and seventy-five dollars, basically, I got a uh, a sixty-four bit, I mean a sixty-four gigabyte uh, of storage in this Nook for a hundred and seventy-five dollars altogether that I've gotten in it. But you know, everything is you know, it's like work just as good as anything now. The only thing I know the Nook don't have is the camera. iPad got a camera, the Nook don't. But, you know, most people got a cell phone. Cause that's about the quality you're getting out of a iPad. Uh, most of my Galaxy Note would take better pictures than this iPad. Anyways, but, you know, they're getting a little better with the camera on the iPad. But I really don't even need a camera. But if you need a camera, don't even consider the Nook. Because if you were one of the people that's, that's doing Skype and all that kind of stuff all the time, that may not be for you. But this Nook, uh, for its processing power, it's got a 1.5 gigahertz processor in it. And you see how fast response this thing is to me? Let me go back to where I was at here. A 1.5 gigahertz processor. And it will even run run the, uh, I think it's white and wrong, run the Netflix really easy. Watch how fast that comes on. You see how fast the response is? And I just play a Netflix video just that quick. And the video quality is excellent. So you can't take that away from it. Let's do the video on iPad here. Let's see if I got my Netflix here. There we go. Let's see how fast the iPad responds to that. Okay, a little longer so far. Okay. Let's sign me out. But you saw how long it took to respond to it. I normally would sign in there. But anyway, let me turn this back off. It's go back to the home screen. And Let's go to Google. Go back to my screen. And some of the programs that I downloaded. 
here. On the iPad, you can just speak to it. What is YouTube? YouTube. Upload a video of someone or something to the video sharing website YouTube. Okay, let's see where this one do it. What is YouTube? You see, it didn't talk like the iPad did. So the iPad got an advantage right there. It give you a little more detail in his search. It just came up. It came up with the same thing, but it didn't speak. You notice everything is exactly the same, but it didn't speak. So the iPad beats that on his search engine. It's a better search. It comes. Up, you come up with the same exact thing. You'll get to do what you need to do on the iPad, but, it's, but I mean on the Nook. But the iPad is a little more intuitive. And it understands it a little bit. But the only thing I'm saying about the Nook is you got your uh, Barnes & Noble. It's got a, every time I run the the virus program, it comes up as Barnes & Noble have a virus. It, it recognizes it as a virus. And there's no way you can get it out. It's not really affecting the iPad. It's like Barnes & Noble must be watching or doing something. Uh, looking at what you're doing, but you know, you don't find no, I run the thing on the iPad. You don't see that you just clean it out and do what you got to do But so you you run a, a virus, you know, you download your virus scan to get all the viruses and everything else The catches and all that out of it But here to leave that only thing in there with the Barnes and Noble, but that scan program recognize it as a virus type program running in your background so I'm assuming they Trying to see what you're reading, and trying to recommend books to you. You know, it's part of that built-in program that they have in this nook. You know, that's some of the other things you do. To your, <coughs> uh, the best thing to do on your nook here, I get very few books with the, with the uh, nook program, but the way that to go around, the way to go around it and get a bunch, a bunch of free books off of your nook, is to go to Amazon, download the Amazon program, my Kindle. Now, if I download my Kindle and open it up, if I open my Kindle up, now I have uh, plenty of books here on the Kindle. They, I'm, I'm in the middle of reading here, so let me see if I can get out of that. As you can see, I have not quite mastered this uh, Kindle, I mean this Nook yet because I don't really know what I'm doing half the time on it. I'm still confused with the iPad, touching some of the iPad stuff. So I'm looking for the light. Okay, there we go. All these books I got here from from uh, Amazon was free. I, I just downloaded all the free books. I maybe found three or four of them on the uh, Nook. On the Barnes and Noble thing itself, and as you notice, I downloaded a lot of kids' books. These books are from a grandkid. I got all of these books free. So this is another good reason for your Nook. You can get. I have my grandkids come home from school, and I make them read. So I use this Nook. I'm so scared they're going to tap this $700 iPad, and my little grandson, he's like six and. And a half, and he just go doom, 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 all over with my iPad, and I don't don't trust that. I can buy another hundred and fifty dollar, but another seven hundred dollar, that's a big deal. So I try to let him stay away from my iPad because he's not very stable with it, and I could buy another one of these. So I mean, I could buy another. Well, who wants to be out of seven hundred dollars for letting the child tear it up when you know how rough he is? So I recommend you. I recommend this Nook, even though. The biggest disadvantage it got is the no camera on it, but everything else seemed to work just as good. I got my Bible. I got every program I can think of that I could download. I, I was just trying to match up everything I had on my iPad. My, I said, well, if it'll run this process of my, uh, my Time Warner cable program, let's just see what that do. I'm going to run my Time Warner program. Now, this is, takes a lot 
of uh, processing power to run the Time Warner program because it's actual live TV. Live TV on that that runs that. So that's why you see it taking a long time to load because it's loading every channel, my DVR, and all of that. See? Now let's get live TV. And look at it. Look how clear that is. Let me bring it a little closer. Very good. Now, I wouldn't expect to get this kind of quality. This kind of quality out of a hundred and forty-nine dollars plus tax uh, program. So I recommend this new hundred forty-nine dollars. $700. I think the lowest iPad you can get is $499. So you can get every one of your grandkids a nook for the price you paid for the iPad. Don't pay for the name. Pay for what you need. Alright. Have a great day. This is Ted speaking. I hope that helped you.